when we have um, had a, a level of athlete involved in our business or, or they like sport, they, they really want to learn and they're very coachable. And I think that's really, really important. So you need to embrace that. So there's an unlearning, but there's also actually applying that attitude to your next venture. I love that you've used the word coachable because I do a lot of work in the corporate world and one of the things that you can really adapt is coaching and talent development and a lot of those beautiful threads through your conversation today. But I like that you said coachable because so often we go, oh, we need to train people to be better coaches. But I think in sport, especially in team sport, right, do you need a bunch of men and women who are coachable and have great coaches? Do you want to talk to me about the difference between the two, between coaching and coachability? The, the complexity is actually getting what you want in terms of your messaging down to a couple of key points. So it really does resonate with the, with the athlete or the person you're coaching, and they can actually go back to those things under pressure. Now for me, like when LeBron was passing, if I threw a poor pass, it was like, actually, you know, be loaded, build the triangle, George. This is Scotty Wiseman who's looking after the Wallabies. Just really good key coaching points, which mean a lot. So you build the triangle, you do this, that, that, you're gonna be able to pass short, pass long. There's a whole range of things which come from that, but just build a triangle and you go, okay, great. That's that's a great thing. It's a, it's a great thing to go back to. It's one which is just a, a nice trigger for really good habits. And that's what a good coach can do. So I'm using, so Scotty, if you listen to this, well done. I've still, I still actually plagiarised a bit of that one. I've coached some nines as well over time and tens about just being loaded so they can, you can always be running, you can pass short, you can kick, all that kind of thing. That's great coaching, great message, isn't it? That you've used this years down the track and you're adapting it. Yeah, and then I think the, the coachability is, is being able to take that on. Like, okay, I'm coming here, I'm open. How can I pass better? So if the... the Opposition's coming, they can't predict if I'm going to pass short or long. How do I do that? What do you think we could do to work on that? And he says, well, let's go through this. And then we look at some tape. We go through here and we look at this. Okay, look at when you pass long, look at when you pass short. Look what's consistent when you pass long. Look what's consistent when you pass short. But could you do this from that position? Could you pass short? Yes, you could. You can pass long. Yes, you could. Well, let's get to that position. And then all of a sudden you're going, okay, well, we can do that. And then we get to the build the triangle scenario. And then, okay, got it. That enables me to do all those things and as a ball player you want to be able to provide the messaging to the opposition that you can pass short you can pass long but i could also run and if i needed to i could kick you can't really see from here can you what i'm going to do so that's a really nice that's that, i think that's a good example of being coachable and a really good piece of coaching as you were saying that two things that were running parallel for me one was you've got the right person to give you the information, the coach, but you were wanting to be coached. How many thousands, tens of thousands of cutout passes have you done over the years, but you weren't yeah, there saying, I, I know how to do that. You were saying, how do I get better? And it, it's such a small thing, right, for passing, but then such intricacies, my basic understanding of it, you know, for the way you roll your wrist, to underhand, there's so many little variances that can make a huge difference. So I love that even after decades of playing, you were still saying, how can I get better? I think as soon as you stop thinking that, it's time for give, giving it away. Because then you start talking about, well, back in my day, I used to do this and I used to do that. Well, you didn't want to get better. Every year, particularly in our game, I think in all sports, every year the, the game changes. There's something which you need to adapt to. For me, in the early days, like kicked a lot of really, Dave Orr, who kicked with the English rugby team, a great kicking coach, got him over to help us with our kicking and showed us how to do the torp and box kicking. He was a very good Dave Orr. He talks about target and we had a few coaching points and his was like on the shelf through the gate, hard foot, like eye on top of your head. I still remember it all. He's broken that down, that skill into a box kick and other things, which under pressure, you just go to a couple of really nice things. Like for a box kick for me, and I didn't box, box kicks a lot early through the Dave Orr in the 95s and, I, and, and, and to this day, and, and even to my last few test matches, I was still using that technique that he provided because it just it gave you a hitting zone. Like it's like golf or anything, you just found it. you've got to be consistent and then you can self-correct. I think that's what's good about coaches like um, Scott Wiseman or coaches like um, Dave Orr. They allow you to self-correct. So if you make a mistake, cause it's not always perfect. It never is. You don't always play, no one throws even Aaron Smith throws a lot of beautiful passes. <laughs> like I just got come back to him, the All Black. But if he throws a back, poor one, he'll bounce back. His next one's not because he's made a self correction. He understands his game so well and his technique so well. He can make the adjustment, and that's what good coaching does as well. And so you go back to that under pressure. You'll just go back to okay, undercut it. I just get it the foot position, hard foot. Boom, it'll take care of itself. And that's what you want. That's what you want, particularly in sport.